Thomas said it fought for himself. We'll keep denying it. We're certainly standing by our story and our forces insist that it's much more than a friendship. I think if I was Tamara, I'd be very upset. The cult director. Called on camera. Nicole, can we ask you a couple of questions about your own romance with Carl? The woman at the centre of the latest Carl Sanderlands controversy. Nicole has been staying at Carl's house regularly. She's been there for the last four days. The car's parked in his garage. I'm told that he bought her six new jewellery and paid for airfare, first class airfare from LA to Sydney and back again. You know, he must be a very, very, very good friend of Nicole's. My name is Nicole. I am a bikini dancer. I'm such a girly, sparkly, fabulous, gold glitter, purple, girly, girly, girly girl. She's an exotic entertainer and a wannabe movie star. But 22-year-old Nicole Marie White seems to have danced her way into the heart of King Kyle. We're told they're dating each other. Reporter Phil Kosh broke the story in this week's Woman's Day, which has photos of the pair together at LA Airport. We've got sources that are close to Kyle and close to other people close to Kyle, who, um, you know, I believe his friendship, if you want to call it that, with Nicole has been an open secret amongst a, a small circle of his friends for some time. The pair reportedly met a year ago at this LA strip club. Kyle apparently ordered a private 90-minute lap dance with Nicole, who went by the name Candy. I am a bikini dancer, and I'm not a stripper. I mean, if, as Woman's Day reported, he apparently had a private session with her 12 months ago, uh, she's been on the scene for quite a while. Despite the photos, today Kyle hit back, denying any such romance. Nicole is a friend of mine, and not a love interest as reported. I'm currently not dating anyone, but thanks for your interest. She was touching his hair, uh, she was caressing his face, and they even kissed. I mean, come on, that sounds a little bit more than a friendship. Then, there are those mystery tweets from Nicole, a woman clearly in love. I can't stand another night without you. I'm missing your love bets. You're so great. Kisses and hugs. And just hours ago in LA, this. Nicole being dropped off to an audition by one of Kyle's personal assistants. Nicole, can we ask you a couple of questions about your own romance with Kyle? He's shared his private life with Australia through his show and through magazines um, pretty much for the last 10 years. Um, this is the next chapter, I think, in Kyle's life. Clearly, whatever the right, however he wants to describe the relationship um, she's involved in his life, I think his fans will lap it up. I think where there's smoke, there's fire, and I think in this case that there probably is a relationship with Candy. Journalist Anita Quigley says she feels for Kyle's estranged wife, Tamara Jaber, who's said to be devastated. And I think if she'd read the details of this piece, she'd be hurt to know that he had a private session with Candy 12 months ago. He hasn't denied that today. He's only denied that there's no relationship. I'm told very reliably informed that she didn't know uh, that Nicole existed or that Kyle had any sort of relationship with her. So like any 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 ex-wife or estranged wife, she's not going to be happy about it. I don't think this will hurt his career. I think if anything, well, he's back in the news again, isn't he? Well, it's Australia's retail sector fighting for every...